The Miyagi no move to Isegahama has been completed. The futon filled trucks pulled up yesterday. And this morning, Monday, saw the first training session under the expanded regime, with the ex Hakuho in the practice ring instructing charges both old and new. And of his own volition, they say, along with coach Magaki as they hope the wider world gets wind of just how hard they're trying. The sessions are closed to the press for now. First time in a while I've done that, Coach Miyagino confessed. I'll continue donning the sash for now. He's a 45-time champion, his new boss chimed in, and I want him to decently convey his Yokozuna skill to the boys. I hope the Miyagino presence brings a fair few synergies now. The level of training should go up. The Miyagino men who were slated to quit have seemingly told Tokyo Sports that they have now changed their minds. We know coach Tamagaki strongly urged them to wait and see. While coach Miyagino on Saturday night closed down his old stable with the words There'll be plenty to gain from Isegahama. Let's all do our best as one. There are, however, some weeks to go before the May tournament starts. Plenty of time for the 40 wrestlers to cause each other discomfort. Some of them, though, for now at least, are away on the tour, including Atami Fuji, who mixed it up in Toyama practice with Daesho and Oho, with Teruno Fuji's ringside advice constantly in his ears. In his downtime, he checked the progress of his younger sister Hina, the first ever female member of the Kanazawa Gakuin Uni Sumo Club, as she fought her way to third place at Women's Sumo Nationals. Toyama is, as we know, Asano Yamaland. The tickets sold out several months ago, and the cue to shake his hand was immense. I'm so grateful to all of you for sticking by me through thick and thin, he told his adoring audience with a hint towards his previous troubles. He said sorry for failing to reach 10 wins down in Osaka last month, but will still return to Sayaku level after nearly three years away. I know that's revived talk about how well I did on my first try in Sayaku, and I do want to better the scores of the past, Asanayama added. It's a new start line for me now. Ten wins will only be par for the course, and I want to aim for that and more each and every time. In Toyama practice, he fittingly fought ten bouts, though I don't know how many he won, versus the likes of Daisho and Ichi Yamamoto. Meanwhile, Ozeki Kotonowaka fought 18 times against Daesho, Takayasu, and others. We understand he was doing his bit to fill in for Terunofuji and Hoshoryu, who were yet to start their tour season practice, the latter apparently feeling unwell and missing the tour's first dates. Waka is currently pondering options for his Koto Zakura Bento box, which will debut in Kokugikan stalls in the upcoming meet. I'd like to put in some well known foods from Yamagata or Tottori, he said, referencing the respective birthplaces of his father and grandfather. Finally, Takeru Fuji's homecoming title parade in his hometown of Goshogawara has been moved from April 24th, mid-tour, to Wednesday, May the 1st, post-tour, and in the middle of spring holidays. His stable master will also take part, as he's from Aomori Prefecture 2, and Takeru will receive a new Local People's Honor Award created in his honor. The ensuing parade will be headlined by a giant Nebuta-style float, synonymous with the area, around, they say, eight stories in height.